This guy. That's pretty cool. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode on AB2 Square. I want to. I want to especially thank for all of you who've been a uh, long-term supporter. Thank you so much for staying with me. And for those of you who just tune in to this episode, welcome, welcome here. On today's episode, we're going to be off the square. That means, for those of you who are new, we're putting aside all the rules, all these concepts, all these overwhelming um things that we have to do to get better on our art process and our artistic skills and we're just gonna have fun we're genuinely going to try to have fun i had the idea to watch some videos um that will help us to get inspired comment down below what is your biggest fear when it comes to art what what gets you you know, what gets your mind blocked? I would like to read that. Okay, let's watch this one. Whenever I don't know what to draw. Mm -hmm. All right, she practiced with hands. I guess so. I mean, I guess um, that's kind of cool. I mean, if you don't know what to draw, at least Draw something that makes you feel happy. That's when you actually start to know who you are, I guess. I mean, in her case, is drawing hands and flower, flowers. Mm, I can, I can, I can see how that is actually relaxing. Yeah, that's good, good idea. But we want more. Let's see what else we find. Oh. I. This, this is Spanish. Actually, for those of you, you might not know, but Spanish is my first language. So I, I think I'll, I'll be able to translate this for you guys. Let's see. Okay, so starting the video, she said that one of the things she thought um, wrong at the first, I mean, starting with her artistic journey is that every piece she makes it has to be a final product it has to be the best polished render anything you know all that blah 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 that she published to her audience and yeah let's see so once she started to do sketches and studies that will only be seen by her and it, she would only keep it to herself she started to realize that you know she was not trying to impress everyone she's it was not about the other people and um she basically focused only on the things that she was failing and Apparently, from that point on, it was a big change. And I, I would have to agree with her. I think in our modern day society, we're so caught up with mm, being liked and being admired. And we, we, we just really long for a, a long number of uh, followers. Man, that sometimes it, it can get you really bad. And I don't know, like I've heard I've heard like superstars that you know wish they had just a normal life because it's overwhelming once you are out there and you're famous everyone wants to know everything the good and bad things of you so like i think yeah we need to slow down and just you know remember that we're doing this because part of it is because we enjoy it and it's it's something that gives you gives us passions This guy. That's pretty cool. Uh huh. All right. Nice. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty complex. 
That's pretty fun. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that, guys. I mean, wow. Okay, I have I have a comment I want to make, but let's just keep watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, like a story. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty like uh, practicing story and all that. All right, so the, here's my thought for this. You would you would think, oh, this is pretty childish and you know this is silly. Honestly, I don't think it's that silly. If you think about it, like the part he, where he was doing <clears throat> the skeleton or the muscles, or even like that guy was 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 doing like that that slam, um, all those things require a little bit of knowledge and accuracy and uh it was pretty clever because if you think about it he made something simple and he got you into this journey of making a process from start to finish added a little bit of complexity and still you feel like you're having fun so i would definitely give it a go to this one i really like this advice I think we should all do uh, some sort of like silly things that we think it's silly, but in the reality, like, and, you know, behind all that, there is like resilient and you're learning how to not get overwhelmed and actually you are having fun. You're looking at your art process as a fun thing. Let's watch the last video, guys. Come on. Let's see what this video is about. I hope it's good. Oh. This is how I started drawing cartoon characters. This was me trying to draw a human face. That's and nice. As you can see, so I gave it up and tried 3D drawing, which was cool. I really liked it. Wow, that's impressive. In 2016, I started drawing humans again. This was supposed to be Angelina Jolie. Okay. Nice. That's very cool. If you look at just first, just think about. I mean, from where she comes from to where she's at at the end of the video, that's a journey. And secondly, I liked how she, on one of the portraits that you or me or anyone might think it, you know, it's like, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't look like the character that she was trying to uh, replicate. But for her, it did. And at that point, from that from that moment she got that spark that passion that got her to push even further and that is going to be our takeaway on this off the square you need to sometimes enjoy your journey find a way to enjoy your journey take breaks like she did she went on dimensional practice you know she was trying to do shapes and, and things that would get her a little bit you know away from from her from her struggles but she came back and maybe that is that is what we need we need to simplify and then come back try it and it's kind of cool that she remembers how she felt at that point when she had that turning point of you know let me make this i i can do this uh i hope you get that i hope you get there but it would not be possible. It's not going to happen if you're always just waiting for a magical thing to happen. It has to be done, right? Like you have to learn how to take it easy and then keep going. I don't know. I think I, I, uh, I make a big comment, but I hope you get the idea. And thank you so much for joining me on this episode. I hope you enjoy it. Please leave some comment down below. Subscribe. I would appreciate so much if you subscribe. Hit that bell notification. 
All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Now, if you're looking to follow more of this content, don't hesitate on click on that subscribe button, hit that bell notification for the next episode, and follow me on the other social media. I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of fun on the next adventure. And stay curious, my friends.